Good morning, friends. Welcome to my channel. I'm Mary, and you're watching Rocky Mountain Gardens. And if you're interested in anything to do with hospitality and making your home beautiful and warm for your friends and family, well, you're in the right place. So why don't you just hit that little red subscribe button down below. Uh, today, uh, I have a project that I wanted to share with you. Um, the DIY Mommy is hosting a DIY and decor organization challenge and I thought I would share with you some of the things I have done in my craft room to get it better organized so that um, you know you can spend time actually creating instead of looking for things. <laughs> so let me share with you just a few of the things that I have done that have been very helpful for me in the past. My first organization tip is what I do with my little stickles bottles. And if you're a big fan of using stickles, which are these little bottles of glittery glue, like I am, well, there's a very easy way to deal with it. I just use this shelf right here and Velcro stickers to hang them upside down. That way they're right there at hand, right here by my desk, anytime I want to use them. But also the glitter glue has, uh, by gravity, you know, kind of sunk down to the tip of the stickles so that they are easy to squeeze out whenever you want to use them. So this is how I did it. So guys, here is a bottle of my purple stickles. And I am using these little Velcro, Velcro squares. And this is the one side of the Velcro that will hold really well. I have actually peeled off one of these from the plastic for each of my Stickles bottles. And these came in a package that I bought at Joann's a while back. And then the package also comes with these little circles, which are simply perfect. And you take your stickles bottle on the bottom after you have attached the square to uh, whatever surface you want to hang your bottle from. And then you simply peel off one of the little circles and stick it on the bottom of the bottle and press it down really well. And then if you like, you can go ahead and, you know, have it really firmly attached by waiting a bit before you hang it up. But let me take my camera and just show you how I hang it up. Here we are with a close up of the little squares that I have attached to the underneath side of my shelf. And we simply take a Stickles bottle like this one. You can see it's quite sticky. Press it there and attach it to the square. And there you are. Isn't that a nifty little trick? My next organizational trick is to uh, purchase some of these uh, stamp pad organizers for your stamp pads and these are created and made and can be shipped to you by a company called Organize More. They really make lovely products and they are pricey, I do have to say, but this was such a great investment because my stamp pads are all organized and easy to reach right here on my desk and I simply adore this uh, solution for dealing with my um, stamp pads. Now I do keep in this little Longaberger basket right here, I do keep some of these little one inch square stamp pads that sometimes I take when I'm going on a um, stamping weekend or crafting weekend. And I don't have very many of them, but I keep them all together there in this little basket. 
And there you can see a picture of my daughter in high school. <laughs> um, okay, and then let's move over here because Organize More makes quite a few of these different uh, shapes of, um, well, organizers. I keep using that word over and over again, but I love this one for all of my markers. Now I have both Copic and Stamping Up markers. So my Copics, you can see I, here on the, I have here on the left side, and I just have them placed in little, these little cubbies by colors in the same thing over here with my Stamping Up uh, markers. If you know the difference between these alcohol and water-based markers, um, and you're an avid scrapbooker or card maker, you know why it's important to uh, separate these different types of markers. So another Organize More um, little um, set of bins that are very helpful for your crafting. The best storage solution that I have found for all of my sticker sheets is this clip and spin turnstile. And I actually got this from my daughter's girlfriend who was uh, wanting to get rid of it. Uh, she was a scrapbooker too, but just wasn't using so many um, sticker sheets. So she gave it to me and oh, what a great deal this was. I really enjoy the way I can turn it so easily to look inside for the type of uh, sticker I need and I have it organized as you spin around like I have all of my sticker letters here together and then I have um, sort of odds and ends here and coming around here I have some borders and then I get into my holiday stickers with Christmas and um, Halloween, Easter, and so on. So when I am working on a scrapbook, it is just so easy to find a sticker. I don't have to dig around in a drawer anywhere. I really love this clip and spin. It's fantastic. This is a set of drawers that I purchased from Michaels, and it looks like there are nine drawers, but actually there are just three, and they have these little nice dividers. So I have my glitter and my embossing powders in this top drawer. The next drawer has lots of charms uh, that I can use when creating an album. And then in the bottom drawer, I have washi tape, alcohol inks and my re-inkers for all of my stamping up stamp pads. Very way, easy way to organize and often you can get these little sets of crafting storage uh, drawers and cubes and things at Michael's for 50% off, which, you know, we all love our bargains. Then last but not least for my storage solutions today are these Ikea steel rails that they sell for, usually for kitchen storage, but um, these are fantastic. And uh, I don't believe they sell this exact style anymore. However, there is one similar, and I believe the name is King's King Fours, but I'm going to link it down below for you. It's very inexpensive, just $5.99 for each rail. And look, I can store so many of my punches on these rails. They are visible just right out where I can reach them at the drop of a hat when I'm in the middle of a project so easy to find and to use. Isn't that spectacular? And I have a total of nine of these rails. 
showing them to you once more. And they are so easy to hang. You don't need any special tools. I know punches tend to be very heavy, but surprisingly, here I'm gonna show you close up again, I only used one screw. I didn't even put anything into the bottom hole as an extra screw to give it more stability. I actually just use one screw on each side and then, uh, and I didn't use wall anchors or anything. I just screwed them straight into the drywall. And I have had these hanging for several years. Not even one of them is slightly loose. So it just works beautifully and it's very simple to install. And um, here you can see how easy it is to take your punch and just hang it there. And of course you can arrange your punches in any way you like, but oh my goodness, isn't this fantastic? So that's my set of easy solutions for storing all of those tools and embellishments that you <laughs> find yourself buying when you're a crafter. So thank you all for stopping by my channel today. And I would like to say thank you to Christina at the DIY Mommy for hosting this fun challenge for us. It's always fun to participate in her uh, challenges. And if you'd like to get many more ideas for organization, stop by her playlist uh, where lots of creators will be putting up videos. And I will link the playlist down below in the description box here. I will also link for you uh, the uh, Organize More website and I'll give you a link for the Clip and Spin and also for the IKEA uh, rails that you can purchase for storing your punches. And uh, I hope those are helpful to you. If you have a uh, uh, craft room that's just like exploded big mess, <laughs> which mine used to be, believe me. <laughs> uh, it's just always, um, what do I want to say? It's kind of like cathartic and uh, refreshing to get things organized. So when you start a craft project, you can really jump into it. Um, lastly, I have a, a few other videos in a playlist. It's craft room organization, and I will link that for you as well. And I am hoping in February to put up a video for you of a tour of my entire craft room so you can see how it is decorated and uh, how I operate in the craft room <laughs> to make all, you know, cards and scrapbooks and lots of other things that I enjoy doing. So I will see you in the next video, everyone. Thank you again and have a lovely day.